Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. Welcome to our brand new league, Trivia League Unlimited. Uh, this, you know, you know, from the ashes of an old trivia, you know, old trivia league that we're not talking about. We're finally bringing you the, you know, the uh, the team's final that we had promised many, many months ago. On my uh, on my wonderful right here is Mike Hanley. Mike, yeah. say hello. Hey, how's it going? Oh, the chaos! You know the chaos that uh, this thing has brought on, <laughs> unto itself. But we have, uh, we we believe we have finally sorted things out, and I believe that we uh, we have a banger for a match here as well. We have too much horror business, which is uh, Bill Cariola and Melissa Woody uh, versus the High Ground, which is Robert Kastner and Antonio Chavez. Oh shit, Chavez y Chavez. Chavez y Chavez, exactly. Go. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and bring in uh, too much horror business. Let's go ahead and bring in Bill, who, uh, interestingly enough, is one of the heads of this new league. And uh, Melissa, Woody. Hello. 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 <laughs> so we're, we finally have you guys back. Yeah. It's good to be back. How are you doing, Melissa? I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, we definitely have the vibe of we're not supposed to be here. And just somehow we're like a bad penny. We keep turning up. And at this point, it's it's fucking hilarious. So I want to keep the joke going. I think I'm committed to the bit. I know she is. This is going to be a hoot. Also, if you got to lose, lose to your friends. Because Robert and Antonio, class acts all the way. So this is just going to be a, it's gonna be a hop a good time. How about you there, Mel? Couldn't have said it better. Now I'm excited to play our friends. And yeah. I feel like either way, it's a win. Yeah, it'd be a good time. All right, and without further ado, let's go ahead and bring in the high ground, which is Robert Castner and Antonio Chavez. No hey, friends, only enemies doing? in the Thunderdome. That's what I say. Absolutely. Jesus does not accept the Thunderdome. Oh, oh that's fair, yes. <laughs> very, very important. Uh, hey, this is great. I never thought this was going to happen. It yeah. Yeah. It's too, too long. Yeah. Oh, this, we have a lot of moving parts. We apologize. Yeah. So. No, I, I blame no, nobody obviously. who's on screen right now. No one does. So. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go into the rules of round one of our five, you know, our five point final, our five uh, round final, I should yeah. say. I, uh, I've, I've hosted before. <laughs> <laughs> you do great. Uh, round one is our typical whiteboard round. All four players will be asked 10 questions, one at a time, and will write their answers on whiteboards. There will be a 15 second time limit between questions. If a player answers all 10 questions in the round, it will trigger a bonus 11th question. Uh, there are four repeats and one challenge per team. Any questions from any of our wonderful competitors? Nope. No, everybody's oh. wonderful. I like you all. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a good time. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So without further ado, let me go ahead and actually bring up the uh, the round one, which I totally sent to, you know, I totally had on hand here. <laughs> Would you like me to start with question one while you're bringing it up? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> question one. Who played Lenny in the 1974 biopic Lenny? So, Mike, you're totally a uh, a fan of Liver and Shirley, right? Yes. Yeah, Lenny and Squiggy. Great yeah. guys. Exactly. What the fuck is a Squiggy anyway? I've never had that answer. <laughs> two of the, two of life's greatest mysteries. What is Squiggy, and what the fuck is Grimace? I don't know what that purple <laughs> mound of shit is. There, there's so there's so many penile jokes I can make right now. I'm not going to make them in five, four, it's a whole colony of penile, two, one. <laughs> Pens down. Uh, let's go to Melissa. Is it Dustin Hoffman? And we'll go to Robert. It's a great start. I said John Malkovich. And we'll go to Bill. Is it Dustin Hoffman? And we'll go to Ant. Dustin Hoffman. It is Dustin Hoffman. Too much horror business taking the first blood. When we go into question number two, who directed Terms of Endearment? Oh. 
my only questions about this is did they actually have to like read through the, all of the terms and then or did they just blindly check the box i think they just you know randomly threw a dart at it whichever it i'm gonna fuck this right up fuck it. i know it fucking directors right i'm like shit Hope the, hope I, I never remember who directs shit, but I remember there was 127 sunken Japanese boats in Savage that's Beach that they had to go through. <laughs> Let's, see if read those terms. Let's see if they've read those terms in five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. We'll go over to Kastner. James L. Brooks. And we'll go over to Bill. Please let it be James L. Brooks. Oh my gosh. Start early. And... <laughs> Antonio. That was a white guy I was thinking of. I put Garen Marshall instead. And Melissa. Is it James James L. Brooks? <laughs> it is James L. Brooks. <laughs> uh winding that lead at four to two, going into question number three. Question number three. Play it to the bone revolves around what sport? Speaking of peanut L jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, the question is, have you actually seen this movie? Yes. Yes. This is probably an underrated, underrated movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I remember, I remember seeing this in theater and uh, being one of three people in that theater. <laughs> it's very fun. That happened to me when I saw Orgasmo. <laughs> that I would believe. <laughs> Let's see if they'll play it to the bone in five, four, three, Penis joke. two, one. <laughs> All right. Bill. Is it boxing? And we'll go over to Ant. I believe it is boxing. Okay. And is it bo- is, is it boxing? <laughs> <laughs> it's boxing. Okay. I remember a poster. I'm like, I hope it's not MMA. I hope it's not MMA. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, let's just keep let's just keep this going. Uh, question number four: Eddie involves Whoopi Goldberg coaching what NBA team? The movie ever, Eddie yeah. involves Whoopi Goldberg. Do you Goldberg need the team name or the city and the team? Where you said best the team name? You, you need both. All right. Have you ever coached a team before? Well, uh, no, but I have uh, I have uh, coached uh, John Marr to. Uh, not a stunning loss, but you know, <laughs> a pretty media, a pretty mediocre result. I did coach my aunt Lefty to an arm wrestling winning, so yeah. <laughs> well, to be you know, that you know, that's not fair because she only had one arm. That's <laughs> not why she's called Lefty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, penis jokes, aunt. <laughs> um, my favorite team, the New York Knicks. Okay, and Melissa. I guess Boston Celtics. Okay. Right and form. Robert? I acknowledge this was unfair because it's the New York Knicks and it's Ant's favorite team. <laughs> and Bill? It is the New York Knicks. New York Knicks is oh. correct. Uh, cutting into that lead, I have a uh, score at 7-6 to six right now. And so far, one of, our, uh, one of our illustrious people is still perfect. Yep. Why would you fucking do that? <laughs> this guy. We move on to question number five. Okay. Who played Johnny Bluto Butowski in Animal House? How many animals do you have in your house? In my house, none. How about you? Um, well, it depends on if you actually count my son or not. I knew that joke was coming. Yeah. <laughs> We have we have three in our house. So no one's keeping. I mean, he, like, we have you know, two cats and, and a snail. Fucking. Heck. I mean, to, you know, you know, to be fair, he does walk around the house acting like a cat. In five, four, yes. three, two, one. I forgot where we're starting, so I'm going to start with Melissa. Is it John Belushi? And Robert. GPA of zero point zero zero. John Belushi. Okay, and Bill. John Belushi. And Ant. John Belushi. All right. John Belushi is correct. Okay. That's what I did wrong. Aha. 
I was trying to figure out why the squares were tied, and they're not. <laughs> <laughs> math is hard. It is. Fuck it. I hate math. All right. Question six comes uh, in a random category because we haven't been telling, telling you what the categories are. Totally. It's been fun that way. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, as of the recording of this match, how many movies are currently in the Bourne franchise? See, we're about to come to a problem, Will. We're about to get a score of past 10. I can't count past 10. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> That's the real plot of this match. Have, have you take, have I'll you tell you the trick. If you take pictures of your hands and toes, you can just use that as a separate set and then count that way. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, have, you take, have you taken off your shoes yet? Yes, I have. Are you wearing socks? Yes. Take off your socks. <laughs> Five. Like Five. Four. It only goes to 12. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just on one foot. Yeah. Robert. Damon wants to do another, but he should stop. Five. I agree with that, Bill. Five. Ant. Five. All right, and Melissa. Five. All right. Five is the correct answer. All right. Hit him with the next question. Oh, yeah, question seven. Who plays the main artist in Vox Lux? In what? Vox Lux. V O X space L U X. The fuck is this? <laughs> I believe in you, Bill. <laughs> I don't fucking believe I even know that's a thing. Those are made up fucking words. <laughs> You notice two people wrote right away, and two people were like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> right with this guy back. Let's all thank Aaron J and Five. Oh my God, that's why. <laughs> that's, that's why. why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Bill. Hi. Here's your answer. Fucking okay, Ed Harris is usually a sneaky good answer to use. Ant. Never seen it, but I'm pretty sure it's Natalie Portman. And Melissa. Natalie Portman. Oh, of course. And Robert. I guess a woman. We should have a candor. <laughs> uh, it was uh, Natalie Portman. Okay. Let me just do my quick tallying. Yes. All right. Uh, no more perfect rounds, but we still have a score of 12 to 11 in Too Much Horror Business Fave. Who played uh, the titular character in Ridley Scott's? 2010 version of Robin Hood. Yes, that, that <laughs> okay. is the correct rewrite. Ridley pretty... Scott did a Robin Hood movie? He really did. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I watched it once. It was a thing. I tried watching it. It's, Fuck. it's long. Yeah, why do they keep redoing Robin Hood? No one fucking cares. I think after the, I think after the Taron Edgerton Jamie Foxx one, it's going to be a while. Yeah, heads yeah. up. That's not the answer. So we're all cool. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this, this figure, if anyone remembers this film, and five, four, three, two, one, or who, who wants to forget it? Ant, do you want to forget this film? What's your answer? Yeah, but I know it's Russell Crowe. Okay. And Melissa? Oh, I think I might have been thinking about something different. I said Charlie Hunnam. <laughs> uh, Kessner? Russell Crowe. Yes, and Bill. Sean Bean would have been a good Robin Hood. <laughs> I agree. Let's go. I have no problem with that cast. Yeah. Yes, Sean Bean would you know Sean Bean would have been great, but unfortunately, it was Russell Crowe, which I believe, if I'm doing my math right, I think they go. Uh, by puts ball, it, right? yeah, we have a new lead. The lead switches over to the high ground, thirteen to twelve. Going into our penultimate question. Question, who directed The Fanatic? Oh, shit. Why do I fucking know this? <laughs> Why do I know this? <laughs> what is you... my fucking life? Oh, God. Oh, I hate everything about myself. 
Yeah, same. Who needs banter when you have Bill on the call? (laughs) 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 Fuck, I lost where we are. Bill. Oh, no. Let's go to our Antonio, actually. Uh, You mentioned him before. I'm guessing Tony Scott. Melissa. I guess Michael Mann. Kastner. Is it Shia LaBeouf? Bill. Oh, the embarrassment to white people Bill. everywhere, Fred Durst. That's Fred right. Durst is the oh. answer. <laughs> that That's, right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no one wins that. Just to be clear. <laughs> as we have as we have sadly no perfect rounds, but you know, Fred Durst was mentioned, so we all win. Uh question number ten. What year did Wizard of Oz come out? Oh, motherfuck, chop, shit, balls, fuck. I don't know how that translates to numbers. Ironically, that's you know that's the you know it's the name of uh, Fred Durst's solo album. <laughs> <laughs> it was a double album because my favorite my one. favorite quote of all time was, well, that was the Kid Rock album was Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine when uh, Fred Durst went on record. He's like, oh yeah, you know they inspired us. And like, you know, Tom Morello's like, I want to apologize if we in any way contributed to that horse shit. Uh, we're sorry. I'm so we glad really he did. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> this is what happens when you let the insane people run the asylum. Melissa. 1939. Robert. 1939. And Bill. 38. And did it again. The same way I put 38. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he did gone with the wind in Wizard of Oz. The same yeah. Way. Fucking Christ. Well, we are tied going in, you know, going out of round one. Both 14 all. Some great scores. All right. So uh the, round two is the wheel. Uh teams will have chosen one strength prior to the match. Uh those categories will be on the wheel. Uh, we, you know, our uh, our range, you know, our players decided not to have spinners and opponents' choice this time, keeping everything, uh, you know, keeping everything on the level. The remaining slices uh, were, you know, were normal uh, were normally drafted by our players, but behind the scenes, we uh, we kind of drafted up the wheel ourselves. So, <laughs> Mike, go ahead and read off those lovely categories for our teams here so for our categories for today we have 21st century tom cruise robert england nightmare on elm street action adventure actor filmographies fantasy mystery thriller comedy war slash epics drama and sandra bullock oh boy (laughs) (laughs) i have i can't not laugh at the fact that sandra bullock Got drafted. <laughs> You're doing great, kids. Brought to you by Voodoo. Yes, I love Voodoo. Watch you could shows. when when life gives you lemons, fuck the lemons and bail. And <laughs> so, have you ever heard the expression when life hands you lemons, you take them back to the store and repeatedly beat the person waiting on you until you get the oranges you asked for in the first place? <laughs> I have now. Rest in peace, uh, Phil Hartman. Uh. Each you know each you know each team will spin the wheel. Uh, if they don't like what they get the first time, they can respin it. Uh, each question is worth two points unless they check down to multiple. Uh, once they check down to multiple, each question is worth one. Uh, the high ranked team is the high ground. Do you want to go first or second? And um, this wheel is interesting now. Yeah, uh, as the not wheel. That we had so I don't know. What do you feel like? I don't mind going second. If you want to just let them... All right, yeah. Well, well, we will defer. Yeah, because we don't have to worry about spinners and opponents like messing us over. So I feel like it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know. All right. Uh, too much horror business. This is your string. This is your first spin. Let's do it. Spin awesome. number one. See what we get. Sandy B. Ooh. Okay. Mystery five uh, thriller. Do you want to keep that, or do you want to spin again? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't totally hate this wheel. We could go again if you want. But what do you think? Yeah, I don't. I don't hate this. Um, I think there's better week. things on there. Yeah, I think this is a title match. Why not? Why not? Risk it. Risk go for it. it. Let's get some biscuits. <laughs> the second spin. Famous last words. 
Bruno. Famous last words. <laughs> Look, I called it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Sandra Bullock. Okay. God. Okay. Okay. Right, so uh, I have those right in front of me. So I will read off these questions. Okay. All right. Listen, Bill, are you ready for your question in Sandra Bullock Films? The silence speaks volumes. Question number one. Who directed The Blind Side? Oh, man, I didn't see this. I hate, I hate White Savior movies. Um, I, I did see it, but... Would you know the um, name if we heard the multiple? Yeah, I, I think I could probably figure it out. I don't, multiple I don't choice. Know. Yeah. Multiple choice, and ch choice options are A, Paul Feig. B, John Lee Hancock, C, Ann Fletcher, or D, Alejandro Agresti? Okay, maybe not. Um. Well, I know it's not one, so we can take that one out. Um. Okay. Can, I, can we hear the options again? You may. Uh, you have one free, op uh, one free uh, repeat of the options. You have Paul Feig for A, B, John Lee Hancock, C, Ann Fletcher, or D, Alejandro Agresti? B, what do you think? Sounds good to me. B, final answer. For one point. All right, cool. cool. All right. Uh, question number two. Uh, in Speed, Annie compares driving the bus to driving a larger version of what? And we need, the spe we need a somewhat specific answer. Wow. I don't remember that exact quote. Yeah, I think we I think we can get it on multiple. Do you do you think a repeat would help or no, it's not no. coming to? No, let's go multiple. Okay. Multiple choice, please. Uh multiple options are A VW bug, B bumper car, C Pinto, or D Chevette. I think it's Pinto. Okay. All right. Pinto, final answer. Correct for one point. Nice. Ready to jump on that. <laughs> Uh, question number three. What year saw the release of The Vanishing? God. Wait a minute. That's the one with Jeff Bridges. That's like 1990-something. I want to say three. But Do we you... all know I'm a dickhead when it comes to dates. Yeah. Do you want to minimize it by going to multiple? Or do you want to shoot for it? Or do you want to uh, I don't think. I feel like they don't know it. If we do, it's worth a shot. Okay. 1993, final answer. Correct for two points. Oh! I, I thought it was 1992. Right. Oh, man. Good job, Bill. All right. Question number four. How many times has Sandra Bullock worked with writer Mark Lawrence? <laughs> Who even the fuck is this guy? <laughs> right. All right. It's guess a number. Yeah. Do we want to guess a number? Or... I feel like a guess a number is good. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck this is. Or do we want to go to multiple choice to minimize the steal? All right. What do yeah. you think? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Multiple, multiple choice. All right. Your multiple options are A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4. Of I mean, <laughs> should we just go win in doubt 3? Win in doubt 3. <laughs> okay. Final answer. That is incorrect chance yeah. for a one point steal. So I'm trying to think what Mark Lords would do given his name. Um, Romance movies? I don't know. <laughs> do you feel better about one up or one down? Because I don't think it'd be one. And watch I'm, me. I'm thinking two, especially because yeah, like two, two is those. where I was going. Yeah. yeah. As well. So we'll, we'll bite this bullet. And it'll All be right. funny when it is one. But right. two, final answer. That is also incorrect. The answer is four. Forces of nature, miscongeniality, miscongeniality, armed and fabulous, and two weeks notice. Okay. Three of those are good movies. movies. I would have thought miscongeniality. All right. All right. And your final question. Uh, in the proposal, where uh, where do the two you know, the two main characters travel to visit Andrew's family? Alaska. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's Alaska. I remember that. Yep. Alaska, final answer. That is correct for two points. So going out of too much horror businesses, business uh, uh, round two, 
Uh, they brought up their score to 20, doing the math right. Yep. Too much horror business. Or uh, the high ground, this is your spin. Hey, your spin. Yeah. You're welcome for us taking away the bullet questions for you. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> I feel like we would have got two or three of those, maybe. You get a free uh, spin. Yeah. <laughs> you knew it was inevitable. Man on comedy. Would you like to take it or spin again? Considering, oh. well, there's like two th two or three things I don't want. I kind of don't mind this. We probably could get a couple and probably get. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like we would give anything away here. So, yeah, I don't mind sticking with it. Famous last to... words, for sure. I, uh, I kind of want to just take this. What do you yeah, think? I don't mind taking it. Let's All right, we will, we will go with comedy with the Yuck Yucks, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, All right, I am, uh, Mike, I am sending, I am attaching you to the dock right now. Perfect. Uh, you should have that in just a minute. That's what, that's what he said. <laughs> Famous <Whoa>. first words. <laughs> Hashtag human centipede. Oh, God. <laughs> Hashtag eat and double shit. <laughs> <laughs> poor num poor letter C on that one. That's that's rough. Okay. Chavez E. Chavez and Catherine, you guys are ready? Yes. Let's go. Question number one. In house guest, Sinbad's Kevin Franklin pretends to be Derek Bond, who is a world renowned what? Oh, shit, God. I can't believe this. <laughs> Like a choice. I yeah, I, I can't time. recall. I, I was. This isn't the Sinbad movie. I know the best. Yeah, I know. The fact that there's more than one multiple choice. <laughs> multiple choice options are A. Writer. B. Singer. C. Surgeon. D. Dentist. I think it's dentist. Yeah, dentist is the one that's stuck yeah. out today, So, all right. Uh, dentist. Final answer. Correct for one point. Hooray! Nice. <laughs> Move on Please to call. question number two. What celebrity is taken on a fatal ride along that resulted in the firing of the police officers from Spurby Police Department in Super Troopers 2? Fuck. Damn it. Never seen this, bro. No, I never saw Super Troopers 2 either, so. <laughs> Damn it. Multiple choice? Multiple, please. All right. All right. Multiple choice options are A, Fred Savage, B, Chuck Norris, C, John Luguizamo, D, Paris Hilton. God damn it. <sighs> I don't, feel like Chuck would, I don't feel like Chuck would do that. I feel Fred like either Savage Fred. Is where I was leaning. Right, right. I was thinking either Fred or Paris because she could use the money. But I mean, uh, uh, I'm I'm fine. Never. Uh, Fred Savage is where I would go. Yeah, I'll go with Fred. Sorry. All right, Fred Savage. Final answer. Correct for another point. All right. All right. All right cool. All right, we can suss that out. Yeah. <laughs> Move on to question number three. Who plays evil Boostmeister Smith in 1983 Strange Brew? So that it's one of two, and I don't know which one. I've never heard of this. And movie. I know that if we say the wrong one, they will get it right. Right. Because right? I assume Bill knows this because it's an eighties comedy. So, so multiple choice. God damn it! Yes, multiple, please. Multiple choice options are A. Wilfred Brimley, B. Ma Max von Sydow, C. Ian McKellen, D. Patrick Stewart. Never mind. This is not who I thought it was at all. I, I, was, <laughs> I, I thought it was one thing and it was not that at all. Uh, can we let, do you mind if we do a repeat of the options in this case? Because I. Repeat of the options? A. Wilford Brimley. B. Max von Sydow. C. Ian McKellen. D. Patrick Stewart. Sydow is, Van, that's who I was going to go with, but I'm not. Yeah, you can go with Sydow. Right. Max von Sydow, final answer. You're guessing the hell out of this. That's correct. Hooray! Please. Question number four. What is the name of George's shoe company in the 1991 remake of Father of the Bride? Oh, God. Fucking A, man. I, I am so sorry that we took this category. I, this is not how I thought it would go. It's a very loose definition of comedies, but anyway. In the least, um, multiple choice, yep. please. Multiple choice options. A, shoe strides. B, street feeds. C, sidekicks. D sure fits. Oh, man, I listened to a podcast of this, but I don't remember what the name of it sure is. fits. You think? I don't know. I'm trying to think, what would be the funniest, or like the most, be the most. Steve can we do like a? And can we do a full repeat? Actually, because I 
No. Yes, I'll be All your right. first repeat. Yeah, can we do repeat? repeat? Okay. Yeah. What is the name of George's Shoe Company in the 1991 remake of Father of the Bride? Your multiple choice options are A, Shoe Strides, B, Street Feet, C, Sidekicks, D, Sure Fits. I'm between two. Which one? If you want to go with the one you said, that's. Well, which one? Ones? Sure, it's D. If you want to go with D, then we can do that. Well, which ones are you be, are between? Are you between? Well, I don't want to say the other one. Oh, <laughs> just because I think it's the funniest. But I mean, all right, we'll go with D. Final answer for the one point steal. Can we hear the options again? Yes. A. Shoe strides. B. Street feet. C. Sidekicks. D. Sure fits. I haven't I seen was, this movie in like thirty years. Do you have any ideas? I was leaning A, but I I really have no idea. I don't, I don't know, know either. I'm going to trust your gut, and we'll go A. Final answer. That was also incorrect. We were looking for C. Sidekicks. Okay, wasn't yeah. what I thought anyway. That yeah. was the, yeah. fine. That's fine. Go cool, cool. We move on to your next question. Thirteen going on thirty takes place in what city? <clears throat> New York City, pretty much. Okay, mm-hmm. I yeah. trust you on it. Yeah, New York City. Final answer. Correct for two points. Thank you. Have to get that for sure. Those were all movies I've never seen. No, I seen <laughs> yeah, movies. except for Thirty Go Out Thirty. I saw Father of the Bride. I haven't seen them. <laughs> all right. So uh, after round two, uh, too much horror to business actually re- uh, takes the lead back. Uh, scores of twenty to the high grounds, nineteen. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, Round three is the IMDb top four. The teams will complete simultane- will compete simultaneously with a group of three sets of IMDb data. The data sets consist of the top four entries that appear at the top of an actor, actresses, or director's uh, page on IMDb. The host will read the fourth entry of the top four and work down the list to the first entry. Teams may privately confer via Skype and decide to lock in an answer for four points or have the third entry at the cost of one point and so on and so forth. Uh, do you have any questions about how this round works? No, do do we we, get... we're, we're gonna designate an answerer, right? Yes, you will designate yeah. an answerer. Uh, Melissa, you have better penmanship than me. I would suggest you do it. Okay. And then so, do we do we get to know if it's actor, actress, or director, or no? Like, do we get to know that part, or no? It's just whatever the fourth thing is for whoever. Uh, in the, uh, the, um, yes, we will tell you whether it's an actor or an okay. actor. We'll tell you an actor, director, or whatever. Okay. Tony, do you want to answer, or do you want me to? I mean, my Wi-Fi has been, was, went out a little bit earlier, so I mean, just not risk right. it. That you... I'll, do, I'll do it then. That's fine. All right. First film. The end of the tour. Question: Is this actor, actress, or director? Oh, this is uh, this is actor. I'm sorry. And too much horrors, do you need the third or are you locked? You need an answer. We'll go to three. Okay. We will go to three. Oh, okay. Okay. The third film is Sex Tape. We're going to lock here. Okay. And it sounds like both teams are locked. Melissa, what is your answer? Jason Siegel. And for uh, for three potential points, Robert. We also have Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel is the correct answer. The next, you know, the next two films would have been The Muppets and For Gang Sarah Marshall. Is everyone ready? Perfect. 
Your first film is Tag. Is this actor, actress, director? Actor or actress, well. director? Actor as well. Is anyone locking in? No, we're going to three. No, we're going to go to three as well. Okay. Okay. Your third film is Father Figures. We're going to lock. We're, we're going to go down to two. Okay, so your two for Melissa and Bill is vacation. Okay, we'll, we'll lock in here. And... Kastner, we'll start with you. Ed Helms. And Melissa. Ed Helms. Ed Helms is correct. And once again, we have a tie game at 25 apiece. All right, I think we're ready. And I'll go ahead and read this one. Uh, okay. Once again, it's an actor. Uh, your fourth, The Avengers. I'm sorry. What was the problem? We just had to wait to get you back in the stream yard. Okay. I'm, I think I'm already in the stream yard. You are now. Okay. So once again, uh, the fourth option is the Avenger. And uh, to, to, for clarification, 2011 or 2012 is the Avenger. Not the 1998 one. <laughs> We're going to go to three. We're going to go to three as well, please. Okay. Number three, Wind River. We're locked. Okay. All right. And All right, we're locked as point, well. Uh, for three points, uh, Melissa. Jeremy Renner. High ground. We okay. almost went with this for four, but Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner is correct. Still tied at 28. And I spilled wine everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. It's rosé. <laughs> It's not red. <laughs> anyway. Oh, <thank> God. <laughs> All right. Uh, going out of round uh, out of round three, we are currently tied at twenty eight apiece. Uh, going in, uh, we're skipping round four as unfortunately, we're we're still in beta testing in here, so we're going to go straight into our mastery round. Uh, we are you know each. Uh, each team is going to be given a two-point question, a three-point question, and a five-point question uh, in their chosen strength categories to see what they are made of, to see if they know these categories that they have chosen. Uh, once again, uh, Too Much Horror Business has chosen uh, Robert, uh, Robert England, Nightmare on Elm Street, and The High Ground has chosen 21st Century Tom Cruise. Uh, because, you know, because they are the higher-ranked uh, uh, high ground. Do you want to go? Do you want to start your questions first or second? Toughest question ever. 
Uh, clarifying thing: we we answer as a team on all three. That's yeah, right. correct. All right. Thank thank the Lord. Um, no, we, we want it to be more like a teams thing here. Thank you. So you guys are all kind of doing things together. So, Appreciate so, it, TLU. So. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, what do you want to do, Ant? You want to go? I first? say second again. Just right. so. we'll go second. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I will be reading your two point question in Robert England Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. Are you prepared? Yeah. Your two point question, which is tip, you know, for our viewers, is typically a data related question. Ugh. Who plays Doc in Freddy's Dead: The Final Nightmare? Yeah, that yep. Kodo. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that Kodo. Final answer. For two points. Okay. Travis, Travis, and Kastner, get ready for your two point. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Your two point question under twenty first century Tom Cruise. Who plays Stephen Malley in Lions for Lambs? Redford? Wait, which man? God damn it. So yeah. you know, uh, Am I still here? Yeah, yeah. For repeat, please. Repeat for two points. Who plays Stephen Malley in Lions for Lambs? Ant, are you there? You're choppy. This sucks. Yeah. You, you there? You there? Hey, say something, please. Do you know who this is? Steven yeah, I'm here. Hey. Test. Yeah, do you know who one, two, one, two. Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, I think it's either Redford or Garfield. Do you want to use the? I'm going to use another repeat so we can talk. Okay. Repeat ahead. again, please. And repeat for uh, two points. Who plays Stephen Malley in Lions for Lambs? Yeah, you're right. It's one of the two, and I don't. I don't think Garfield's name was Stephen. Yeah. So you want to just go Redford? <sighs> professor, like he was like Professor Malley, right? I kind of feel like that was the case. Yeah. All Robert right. Redford, final answer. Correct for two points. That's correct. Right. Sorry, Did you watch that piece of shit last night. Jesus. Sorry, we burned two repeats. No, that's all right. That's my, my wife. My for three, you know, for three points, which is for our viewers at home, slightly more plot oriented. For three points, what type of buildings are being built at the construction site where Freddy and Jason have their epic fight in Freddy versus Jason? Oh wow! I don't think it's ever said. Yeah, it's a visual question but yeah i honestly don't think that's ever actually said in the film i mean is it apartments or, or is it like a, a shopping mall or something like I, that's a tough question yeah it really mm -hmm. is um do we want to repeat it <laughs> yeah do we want yeah 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 okay we'll repeat that okay. one your first uh your first repeat uh, for three points, what type of buildings are being built at the construction site where Freddy and Jason have their epic fight in Freddy vs. Jason? Maybe it's new cabins. I don't I, know, but I, there's I, also like concrete and rebar, so that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Maybe I go with apartments. Well, you said parking garage. I'm not 100% on that one, though. Yeah, okay. I, I can't really remember. So Okay. Oh, yeah, because... Because again, I don't think this was ever said. I don't so. think so either. So, um, okay. or if it was, it's like real quick. Yeah. Let's just say apartments. Okay. Apartments, final answer. I am conferring with Mike. Hold on. Okay. Yes. Okay. We, you know, we will give it to you. Uh, it's actually, you know, they're actually luxury fishing condos, but we will accept apartments because the condos apartments are not very different from one another. I don't know. Did, did, you want, say, did do you want to throw a challenge because they don't say this? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. I want to throw a challenge because it's never explicitly said in that movie slash, I don't know how you can tell based on what's happening. Yeah, like a fishing condo between <laughs> I know there's boats or whatever, but fuck that shit. No, challenge this question, please. All right. A challenge has been thrown, and we're back. Uh, at the end of that challenge, uh, we concur that uh, while there is a sign that 
alludes to it. It is never actually said. Uh, so as uh, as the High Grounds challenge is worded as such, we are going to accept their challenge and uh, Too Much Horror Business will get a brand new three-point question. Okay. Uh, Melissa, Bill, are you ready for your three-point question? Yes. Sure. All right. Uh, for three points, what specific job does Chase, Heather's husband, have on the movie set of New Nightmare? He's a prop guy, right? Yeah. Um, specifically for the glove, I would say prop maker. Yeah, prop All right. maker. Yeah. Prop maker, final answer. I believe we can accept that as yeah. we have prop master or prop designer. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> We're going to challenge that now. No. no. <laughs> Challenge these nuts. <laughs> Different team. Yeah, that's not me. Okay. Okay. I hit him with a three. Chavez E. Chavez. Jasmine, you guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. For your three points. Three pointer. What is the name of the secret society of hunters in the mummy? Oh, God. I, I don't remember this at all. Oh. Shit. Would a repeat help or should we save it? No, it's, still, it's like something in Latin too. Throw, throw out whatever guess. Like, like, ver it's, like, it's almost like truth, like veritas or veritas, oh, something like that. Oh. Throw out whatever you want. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't get to watch the mummy yet. I rewatched it. I didn't actually bother. <sighs> Just whatever. Veritas, final answer. Ugh. That is incorrect. We were looking for a prodigium. Prodigium. Okay. It was a fucking Latin word, at least. <laughs> so here's the situation we're in. Uh, if, uh, the, you know, if the high ground manages to hit their five points, they will send it back to Too Much Horror Business for their five-point question. If they miss, then Too Much Horror Business wins the, you know, wins the final. Gentlemen, are you prepared? Sure. Hit him. For your five pointer. In Top Gun Maverick, Maverick shows his trainees a mission, including escape time, can be done in what specific time frame? I haven't seen Top Gun Maverick, so I'm going to be useless for this. How many rupees do we have? One. The specific time. Is it seconds? Is it minutes? Is it? I know it's like he says like less than two minutes, but I'm not sure that's like specific enough. I'm not sure. I don't think he gave that's, it like. That's pretty specific. I mean, I'm just trying to remember where they gave. He gave seconds. Well, we have the extra repeat, so we'll wait till we get a countdown and then. Holy fuck. Three, two, repeat. Eight. In Top Gun Maverick. Maverick shows his trainees a mission, including escape time, can be done in what specific time frame? I'm not sure if it's two minutes and 30 seconds or just two minutes. Fuck. And I love this movie too. What feels more right? I feel like less than two minutes. Because they, they're that's, like. I think that's specific enough. It's yeah. too, I mean. If that's what, if that's what you feel, yeah, I, I trust you on it. So let's hope. All right, <laughs> All right, less than two minutes. Final answer. And your winner, too much horror business. The answer is two minutes fifteen seconds. Okay, you were you were close. Oh. This was a banger of a match from start to finish. Let's go ahead and uh, let's kick too much horror business out because we want to talk to the high ground oh yes yes mike you're in control yeah almost forgot that guys uh first of all sorry for beta testing this, this Fun. Thing, you guys i was really excited for round four too i was i kind of thought that's where we would like yeah, no. support stuff yeah with uh we we will get better at this okay. but we will also have you guys back. We promise. Okay. But in a brand new format, you guys ex did extremely well. How are you guys feeling? Um. So uh, this is one of those cases, I think, for both of us, where kind of real life was just 
a bit too much um yeah and, yes, and sure. moved to an entirely different state it's got a lot going on um i i remember studying these uh when the previous league that shall remain nameless uh when we were running in that but i haven't watched any crews since that point i've been focused yeah. on other things and uh, rearing a child uh tends to do that so uh, i think this is just a case where real life was just a bit too much for us uh Otherwise, you know, comedy, I thought we'd get more comedies in our wheelhouse. We didn't. Sure. Um, and then round one was tougher than I thought. And uh, Bill and Melissa played great all the way through. So um, honestly, at this point, uh, given where I'm at, I would have preferred the Nightmare on Elm Street questions. Uh, personally. <laughs> but uh, that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. They deserve the win, uh, clearly. And uh, we'll just be better next time. Yeah, I'm just hoping to be back, and yeah, of course, like, you know, this is a whole big move, and I'm happy to be here, and I'm hoping to start a whole new, like, era of greatness <laughs> from, from a new location, but uh, yeah, definitely going to look forward to getting back into my study habits, and uh, but yeah, Bill and Melissa were awesome, and they earned the, the, this uh, title, and uh, but yeah, we hope to be back soon. Absolutely. So, uh, gentlemen, I don't know if you remember... Uh, any of the teams from that ill-fated league, but when you do come back, and we will have you back, obviously, uh, who do you look on? You know, look forward to doing battle with. I assume I assume WLC would like another crack at us because of how yeah. they felt like that previous match went. So that's right. fine. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like Scott and Kirk got ousted a bit too early. I kind of think sure, that would be fun. Um, yeah, either of those two. I don't remember the other teams, honestly, beyond that. But um, besides, uh, you know, our champions. Yeah. But, I think we're going to say goodbye to Cruz also for because I think that I would know. be nice if we yeah. could, if we could change the track. <laughs> obviously, obviously new, new league, you know, new league, new season coming up. Of course, you can ditch whatever strength you want. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, well, gentlemen, banger of a match. We will see you next time. Let's go ahead and bring on the champions who. Would never have guessed that they were here looking at Melissa and Bill's face. <laughs> if I may. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to get copyright stricken. Glenn Danzig is an asshole. What's your right. name, Jake? <laughs> Holy shit, Bill. I do not believe this in the slightest bit. Um, I've weirdly not been here before of uh, cinderella runs so melissa you're first let's see if you can cook baby girl what do you got i am like shocked right now to be completely honest uh antonio and robert are amazing players um and you know i thought we had a good shot but i definitely didn't think we were gonna win so i'm pretty shocked right now and this was my first trivia match of the year <laughs> and it's a fucking title match and i won i'm shocked right now and it was awesome to do it with you bill yeah i don't know i'm a little speechless what do you think uh yeah i i know when we we, we joined the uh the voldemort league of uh you know yeah i think that's the way we because i get that joke now you motherfuckers that's right <laughs> that's right billy watch billy watched your turf horse shit all right um yes that, we that's... went in for just let's have some fun who cares? This is just for shits and giggles. And then somehow just kept going. Uh, like we won our first match pretty well. It was a nail biter with the beers. And then, holy shit, the last one, we murdered it. And then we were here. I'm like, we clearly earned our way. But I didn't, I didn't in a million years. I was just like, you know what? I don't want to think about this. Let's just go and have a good time. And so so, so Bill, what you're saying is that this stands for there will be turfs. Is yes, that, is that what you're saying. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> there won't be turfs. There won't be. Anyway, uh, I am overjoyed that me, Melissa. I got to give you a. I got to help get you a title. You know, um, I never thought in a million years we would pull this off. I really just hoped. And then here we are. Holy Jesus. So I so one thing I want to say right now for anyone watching this, uh, is it you know is it collusion that the you know the head of this league is now a belt title? No, go fuck yourselves. Don't do yeah, because I really feel like they would have liked to have me help plan some of this, so, but I didn't want to for obvious reasons. So yeah, but you was, know what? If it, was if it was collusion, they would be all Andy Circus questions. 
Motherfucker, it's Sedaris. Said put some respect on that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you wouldn't have done well in Andy Circus either. Uh, I'm just saying, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, Venom 2. Who's with that a director? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got me there, sir. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but, yeah, holy but, shit. Yeah. But no, this was a banger of a match. You've been saying this entire time, you don't deserve to be here. Uh, I think you guys do deserve, deserve to be here. You guys have the best chemistry of any team that I have seen in any league, really. And so I just can't wait to see what you guys bring to this madness. Uh, now that you're belt holders, who do you look forward to trying to you know, defend your belt against? I mean, I did see some names mentioned for teams. I'm not going to say anything just yet. There's one team in particular I have always wanted to play. And I think they're coming. I think and I know who you're saying. I, I think I hope I get to. I mean, we'll 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 fucking lose spectacularly, just so we're clear. But it would <laughs> yeah. still be it would still be great. But I'm gonna put a I'm gonna 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 put a pin on that, you know, for now. So and just really uh, whoever. I mean, this is fun at this point. Let's just keep let's let's keep the party train going. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Right. You know, both of you for the time being just revel in that. You know, in you know, the fact that you are the champions in a brand new league. Hold your help, you know, hold those belts high, though we have absolutely no physical belts. And we will see you later on this season. Awesome. So Mike, uh yes. for as much uh, for as much beta testing as ha- you know happened here, uh for the shit show that happened, this was definitely a glorious shit show. Yeah, it was chaos and chronic, but you know. What's you, what are you going to expect coming over to the video store? You're going to expect shit to go wrong at every turn. But but we, we will we, we, pro, we promise fellow viewers we will get better at this. I will get better at hosting and stop stammering like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I will. Uh, you 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 know when Mike is covering his head and you know and and laughing, he knows that you know shit just went downhill fast. <laughs> But what do you get when you know you get you know when you uh when you have the Elvin the Chipmunks champion hosting a exactly. goddamn fucking match? <laughs> for Mike Hanley, for Bill Cariola, for Melissa Woody, for Robert Castor, and for Antonio Chavez, thank you so much for joining you know, joining us tonight and for joining us in this brand new league trivia league unlimited or as what I'm calling T Lou. <laughs> uh we we look for we look forward to bringing you all sorts of great madness coming you know going forward 